Hi class, I'm going to show you a couple of different ways that you can get the data for the homework problems into Minitab to be able to make graphs and analyze it and things like that. Um, so to start with, uh, the first way that you can do it is actually within Launchpad. So everybody has Launchpad access and once you're in Launchpad, if you go to the ebook or you can even just go inside here in, in chapter one and you come down to the unit wrap up all the homework problems are in the chapter exercises so I'm gonna click on the chapter exercises and it opens up the ebook with those exercises in it and I'm gonna look at problem at 35 okay so here's 35 this is a table of the number of active nurses per 100,000 people in each state and it wants us to make a histogram of this data so one of the ways that I can get the data into Minitab is if you notice over to the side here there is something that says data sets so if I click on that it brings up this and it says hey what kind of data set do you want basically and if I'm gonna open up mini tab I'm gonna click on mini tab and it goes ahead and downloads that file to my computer so from here I can either open it up inside of mini tab or I can just go to file open and if you have mini tab on your computer then it will open up mini tab and plop the data right in there for you which is really handy my mini tab might look a little bit different from yours because it's a slightly different version Okay, so that's one way of getting the data in there. The second way is through um, our data website for the course. And you can get to that by on Blackboard. If you click where it says course information and links, and down at the bottom there's data from the textbook for the homework. So I'm gonna click on that. From here, I just choose the chapter that I'm looking for. So chapter one and the data it's under the problem number so we were looking at exercise 135 uh, if you have a hard copy of the book in the book it actually gives the name of the data file as nurses it'll show up on there so either way I'm gonna click on this nurses exercise 135 file then I click anywhere inside this box and the directions right up here in case you forget so I click inside the box I hit control a which highlights everything then I do control C which is going to copy everything in that box from there I flip over to mini tab and I'm going to put my cursor in one of these gray boxes I want to make sure I'm in one of the gray boxes and not in one of these white boxes so that everything pastes correctly and that the variable names paste up here in this first row rather than where the data should be so once I have my cursor in a gray box I can hit control V and that will paste my data right in there for me. So notice Minitab doesn't like you to have the same name for any of your variables. So if it's going to be the same name, it'll add a little one or something on the end to make it a little bit different. So now I have my data in Minitab. I can go ahead, actually I have it in there twice. I go ahead and do a histogram with it. So to do a histogram, come up to the graph menu, come down to histogram. I'm just doing a simple histogram. So I'll click on OK. I want to do a histogram of the number of nurses. Notice that I'm not inputting the state in anywhere. The state is not something that belongs on the histogram. It's just kind of bonus information for this problem. So I got my variable in there and ta-da! Minitab does a lovely histogram of nurses. And I'm sure you all remember the three things we're looking for on a histogram, shape, center, and spread. And in this case, we have a roughly symmetric distribution with a center, I would say, right around 900 uh, and a spread that looks like it goes from, oh, I don't know, um, like 450 up to about 1450. And actually, as you roll over things here in Minitab, then it will tell you what the endpoints of the, of the bar are. So for this first one, um, first bin goes from four, uh, 450 to 550 this one's from 550 to 650 etc so from here in mini tab if I was doing this for homework let's say 
um, that I would probably want to cut and paste this into another document to make it easier to print out. You can print the graphs directly from Minitab just by going to File, down to Print Graph. Um, and that's fine if you want to do that, but it will print out one giant graph on one piece of paper. So I find that it's nicer just to cut and paste it into another document. That way you can put all your notes and everything in the other document. So from here, I would right click on the graph and choose Copy Graph. Then I would go ahead and open up Word and in Word, I can just paste it. So I'm going to right click and paste. And that should just put my graph, there it is, um, right into my Word document. So if I was turning this in for homework, then you know I could go ahead and label the problem. This is 1.35. So then within Word, I could go ahead and answer the questions that I was supposed to be answering for the homework problem. So if I go back to my ebook, um, you know, A, it wanted to know why the number of nurses per 100,000 people is a better measure of the availability of nurses than a simple count. Um, and B, we were making the histogram for that part, and we want to describe the distribution, shape, center, spread. And see if we can describe uh, any of the outliers. So uh, this one here would be a potential outlier that we would want to look into. So anyway, we could type the answers to those right underneath here and we'd be all ready to turn in our homework.